What's up, fellas? So today I got my man here wanted to know how to keep his girl interested when he's away because he's a pilot. So he's in and out of, you know, he's in and out. He's not always at home. He's away more than he's at home. And also, he wanted to know what I thought about his girl wanting to keep her ex in her life as friends. All right. So first off, guys, he asked her for a relationship. All right. So right off the bat, what's wrong with that? All right. Guys, here's the thing, guys. It's a, it's a few reasons why you don't want to ask a woman for a relationship. You want her to ask you for the relationship. All right. Not only is her feelings probably not to that point that what she wants a relationship, she's just going to go along with it. But also, it puts you in the weaker position. All right. Now, he asked me how to keep her interested. See, this is the shit that happens when you ask the girl for the fucking relationship, all right? But before I get to that, let me talk about this first. Why would you even want a relationship with a woman who hasn't boxed you in, all right? Because here's the whole thing, guys. We as men, we want to get the free pussy as long as we can until a woman boxes you in and say, Look, motherfucker, you ain't going to get no more of these sweet walls until you give me a commitment, all right? So instantly right there, she loses respect for you, all right? Every guy that you see who's in a relationship or married, most of them, especially the, the, you know, the alpha males, the guys who had a lot of options, the woman put them in a position where it's like, listen, it's either shit or get off the pot, motherfucker. Either you're going to marry me or you're going to give me a relationship or I walk. And the guy probably cared a lot about the woman. And he just said, or probably had kids by her and said, you know what? I don't want to risk not seeing my kids or living with my kids and gave the woman what she want. Why in the fuck would you bring it up? So right there, the woman already got to know that your SMV is very low. All right? At least I fucking know. All right? Because only a guy, guys who got options with women... The only time they would even think about getting a relationship is a woman gave them an ultimatum and it's either shit or get off the pot. And women give me that shit all the time and I still don't budge. But I'm not going to knock the guys who have a good woman or at least what they perceive as a good woman and a woman they care about and she boxed them in and they feel like, fuck it, man. Fuck it. All right. Fuck it. All right. I ain't going to do that shit. But at least I could, you know, I could at least kind of respect those guys. Sort of. I, you know, I don't, I, you know, I, I kind of have a hard time respecting anybody who let a, let a woman bully you into doing some shit you don't want to do. But at least the woman came to them with the bullshit. They ain't go to the woman with the bullshit. All right. So guys, never do no shit like that. If you're a true alpha male and your SMV is on point and you got confidence, why the fuck would you want to give a woman all of your non-sexual attention? Unless she got a gun to your motherfucking head and saying, motherfucker, you either going to give me a relationship or I won't. All right. And if you feel like that woman is truly special and you feel like, man, I don't, I'm not going to meet a girl like this all the time, then fuck it. Do it. But you supposed to want to fuck these bitches uh, without giving them all your non-sexual attention as long as you fucking can. All right. So that's the first point I want to make. The second point I want to make is now you in a weaker position to where you have to appease her. All right, that's the main reason why you never want to bring up a relationship. And I'm going to bring it to you like this. Let's hypothetically say I got this phone cover right here, guys. And let's hypothetically say I got this phone cover and you like, hey, man, how much you want for that phone cover? And I'm like, this phone cover right here? And you like, yeah, how much you want for that phone cover? And I'm like, it ain't for sale. Well, if it was for sale, how much we want for it? Now, essentially what I see now is that you really want this phone cover. So now I'm finna be like, what you give me? Because see, I see you desperate for it. So now you gotta please me. You gotta come to me, cause I see you really want it. But let's hypothetically say, I came to you and say, hey man, you wanna buy a phone cover? And you're like, no, I don't need a phone cover. I'm like, you sure it's really good? It's in really good use? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's got no scratches on it? Well, I, now I see you desperate to get rid of it. So what I'm finna do now? I'm finna talk you down to damn near nothing because I see you desperate. You either need the money or you really need to get rid of it. In any effect, I got the fucking upper hand because you came to me. I ain't came to you 
You came to me, motherfucker. So if you come to me, you got to appease me. If I come to you, I got to appease you. So if the woman comes to you, guess what that means? That means that I need my dick sucked every night, motherfucker. That's what it means. You see, he want to know how to keep her interested while he gone. All right? But if she come to you for the relationship, guess what? You need to figure out how to keep me happy while I'm gone. All right? So now you in a position where she's in strength. Effectively what happened, guys, is you show that you care more about her than she cares about you. Whoever cares the most is in the weaker position. The person who cares the less is always in the stronger position. She's in the stronger position now because you asked her for a fucking relationship. So you already starting out wrong. All right? When a girl come to me about a relationship or whatever, or talking about a relationship, man, this is how I get my ass licked. This is how I get my balls up. You trying to appease me, all right? So now guess what he got to do? He got to climb mountains. He got to fucking talk on the phone. He got to do all this fucking bullshit because now she has the fucking power, all right? Now she knows he cares more about her than she care about him, all right? So now he's already starting about this. Now he wants to know how to keep her interested while he's gone. It's only going to get worse from there. All right? It's only going to get worse from there. First of all, the bitch is going to cheat on you like a motherfucker. All right? Here's the thing, guys. I know, listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Not only is she going to cheat on him, she's going to have a whole nother fucking boyfriend. That's right. You know, usually if a girl, if a woman just cheat, it's just, you know, fuck, and then that's it. No, 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 no. Since you're not going to be there to give her that emotional void, that, you know, that void, she's going to have an emotional void, she's going to have to get another guy to fill that emotional void. All right? It's one thing if you can give a woman, an, you know, a lot of emotions and you there, then okay, if your dick is, you know, your dick is weak or whatever the case may be, she can just go cheat on you and that's it. That's all she wants from the motherfucker. It's just dick. So what she'll do is she'll go have another guy on the side. He's just for dick. I done had that. Well, a girl would just come use me for dick and we didn't even talk. I was just dick. I played my role. In this case, this woman going to need a whole nother emotional guy. All right. You pretty much what I'm seeing now is, is, is just going to be a beta male provider. That's the bottom fucking line. All right, you're gonna be the beta male provider that's good husband material. You got a pilot, pilots make a lot of money, so you're gonna be her beta male provider. That's what she's lining you up for. How do I know this? How do I know she don't, you know, how do I know she don't feel this? Listen, to what he said she wants to keep her ex boyfriend in the picture, but he doesn't want to be her friend, probably because he watches me or some other dating coach who tells him not to let a woman use you for your non sexual attention. So he like, fuck that bullshit. If we ain't fucking, we ain't nothing. All right, so he's probably he's probably watching my videos or some shit. He knows better. All right, and so what she wants to do is she wants to keep him in the background as your replacement. I told you guys over and over and over again, man. Women are so fucking clever. All right, show you how much respect she got for you. She want to keep her ex boyfriend in the fucking picture. So what does that tell you about you? She don't even respect you. All right, my you want to know what I think, my dude? I don't even think she really like you that much. All right, you think a girl gonna tell me some shit? A girl that I'm in a relationship gonna tell me she wanna keep her ex boyfriend in the fucking picture? What the fuck I look like? Simp of America? All right, what the fuck I look like? That's that's flat out disrespect. All right, the fact that you even let that shit go, I can only imagine how this relationship is going. All right, I I I, I you know I, I guarantee fucking to you if this girl asks you to put on her fucking pantyhose, you'll probably fucking put them on. Guys, what I'm trying to teach you guys over here is to be fucking men and not no bullshit like this. My dude, this is alpha male strategies. Today, shit change. Starting today, no fucking ex-boyfriend in the fucking picture. Period. All right? I really don't, you know, want you to be in a relationship with this girl. But if you're going to be into it, it's the best thing I can tell you to do, man, is you got to have good phone sex. All right, you gotta have, you gotta connect with her mentally hard. All right, so basically you gotta know how to talk to her on the phone in a seductive way. Like, yeah, yeah, you gonna play with your pussy for daddy? Yeah, you know, you gotta be real seductive. You know, have that real swag. I don't know if you got that in you, but that's what it's gonna fucking take. I still think she gonna cheat, no matter what the fuck you do. I think she gonna fucking cheat, but 
at least you can keep her connected if you got good phone sex. All right, so work on your phone sex game. Learn how to get in your seductive mode or whatever at night so you can charm her and shit like that. But I just, this whole thing, I don't like, I don't like you asking a girl for the fucking relationship, which gives her the fucking power. You want her figuring out at home what she got to do to keep you happy while you gone. All right, you gave her the fucking power. All right, so right off the bat, it's just bad from the get go. You done gave her the fucking power. It's only gonna you gonna be constantly your whole the whole relationship trying to figure out what I gotta do to make her happy. What I gotta do to make her happy. All right, and here's the thing: she gonna she probably won't suck your dick. She probably ain't gonna lick your balls and nothing like this. This is what happens when the woman feels like the man cares more about her than she care about him. You don't get none of that little freaky shit. All right, she gonna do that to her ex boyfriend or whoever the dude is on her side. All right. You, she ain't gonna even do that with you, all right? Because she ain't gonna feel like she has to. I told you guys, if you go back and watch my old videos, women ain't gonna do all that freaky shit with you unless they feel like they fucking have to. And if a woman feels like, man, I'm lucky he chose me, then she'll do all that freaky shit because she wanna keep you happy. But when you ask her for fucking relationships, she ain't gonna do none of that fucking bullshit, all right? Because you asking her for a relationship, she already fucking know. You care more about her than she care about you, so why the fuck I'm gonna suck your dick? All right, or keep sucking your dick. All right, you'll start, if, if she's sucking it right now, you'll see it fall off. You'll see it fall off because she don't feel like she has to no more. All right, guys, so never fucking ask a woman for a relationship, and if you are gonna have a relationship and you wanna know how to keep her interested long distance, your phone sex game gotta be on fucking point. Your phone sex game has to be on point. But right off the bat, it's already bad because this man asked her, asked her for a relationship. So instead of her trying to figure out what she needs to do to keep him happy while she's gone, now he's got it the other way around, and it's just bad all the way around. Never end up in this position right here, guys. But, hey, you already asked her to be your girlfriend. Fucking go on, go with it now. Just work on your fucking sex game. You know, do the best you fucking can. And just make just tell the bitch don't 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 suck too much dick while you gone. Just tell her just like that. Hey, listen, babe, please. Just don't suck too much dick while I'm gone. All right, all right. You can suck one or two. Just don't suck too many. All right. At least that way, you know, you feel better about the situation. You know, because at least that way you let her know you're not stupid and you understand what's going on. That's the only thing I can tell you, my dude. Because the bitch gonna cheat. Bottom fucking line. All right, guys. I hope y'all learned something from this, my dude. We got you, man. This We're going to work with you over here. We, we ain't giving up on none of you guys. I got hope for all you guys. All right? That's why I'm here. I'm going to make men out of all you motherfuckers. And y'all ain't going to be doing little simp shit like this. I want all my guys fucking these bitches to sleep and not asking girls for fucking relationships. All right? You, and listen, if you're going to get in a fucking relationship, let that bitch have your ass boxed in a fucking corner with some fucking knives in her hand telling you, motherfucker, you're going to give me a relationship or else. Don't ask no girl for no fucking relationship. If, she, if the bitch is dumb enough to keep letting you fuck her without a commitment, then you just keep fucking the bitch without a fucking commitment. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. Holla back.